If you guys are tuning into today's video, you guys are probably wondering, should I get a Tesla Model Y from Texas or from California? What does 2170 mean? What does 4680 mean? Why do these Teslas have different prices? Why are some listed on the website and some are listed only in inventory? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break all that down for you guys and I'm gonna help you figure out which Model Y you should buy. So stay tuned and let's get into this video. The Model Y, Tesla's compact SUV, uses two different types of battery cells, the 2170 and the 4680. Let's compare the two and see what sets them apart. First, let's talk about the 2170 battery cell. This cell, named after its dimensions, is 21 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters in length, hence the 2170. It was first introduced in the Tesla Model 3 and has since become a staple in the company's lineup. The 2170 battery cell has a capacity of around 75 kilowatt hours per cubic meter, making it one of the highest energy density cells in production. Now let's move on to the 4680 battery cell. This cell, named after its dimensions, is 46 millimeters in diameter and 80 millimeters in length, hence 4680. It was first introduced in 2020 and has been praised for its increased energy density and lower production costs. The 4680 battery cell has a capacity of around 100 kilowatt hours per cubic meter, making it almost 33% denser than the 2170. Another key difference between the two cells is their manufacturing process. Now this is pretty big. The 2170 battery cell is made using a cylindrical design, while the 4680 battery cell is made using a pouch design. The pouch design allows for a larger surface area for the electrodes, leading to higher energy density and faster charging times. Additionally, the pouch design also reduces the production cost of the 4680 cell, making it more cost effective for Tesla to produce. Now we hear about this cost effective metric for Tesla, but for the consumer, is it more cost effective? We're about to get into that. When it comes to performance, the 4680 battery cell has several advantages over the 2170. With its higher energy density, the 4680 cell can provide longer range on a single charge compared to the 2170. Additionally, the 4680 cell's larger surface area for the electrodes allows for faster charging times, which is pretty big, so you can spend less time charging and more time driving. In conclusion, the Model Y's 4680 battery cell is a major improvement over the 2170 for Tesla, but for the consumer, I'm not exactly sure. With its higher energy density, lower production costs, and faster charging times, the 4680 cell is a future of electric vehicle battery technology. Now, this doesn't mean you can charge to 100% every single day like you can with an LFP pack. This was just a crazy milestone for Tesla in terms of manufacturing. But for the consumer, hey, now we have two Model Ys, one with 279 miles of range, and we have another one with about 330 miles of range. Now these estimates are for if you were to charge to 100%, which both of these batteries, you can't really do that from day to day. 90% would be more ideal. We are looking at 250 miles from the 4680 car to about 300 miles of usable range on the 2170. So here we are, we have two Model Ys. They are built in two different factories. We can see the range is different, but that's about it for the consumer, aside from of course the price. With these cars that are being manufactured out of Texas with this newer battery chemistry, not chemistry, design rather, these cars are being priced at $52,000 as of February 13th, 2023. As we know, they keep changing the prices, so it's likely going to go up or down, I really don't know, probably up. And the 2170 cars start at around 55,000. So here we have about a $3,000 difference in price one car comes with two motors and a, a little bit more range. The standard range Model Y comes with about 250 miles of range. I'd imagine it's more efficient because it only has one motor and you have the char improved charging times, but that's really it for the consumer. But now that I think about it, you have a, the dual motor, assuming they don't increase the price again, I really do think it's worth spending the extra 3000 because two motors versus one motor, is there's a crazy difference in terms of drivability. The cars are much faster, they're more responsive versus obviously a car with a single motor. And 
50 extra miles of range per day, assuming of course you're charging to 90, both cars to 90% is pretty significant. Now I have a standard range model Y, sorry, a standard range model three. And sometimes I do wish that I had got a long range, not necessarily for the extra motor, because I think these cars are plenty fast, but sometimes just being able to have a little more range on road trips or having to visit a charger less frequently, of course, for those who depend on supercharging, that is very important, but it really depends on the consumer. If you're going to do city driving, you don't plan on driving that far, and the car is mostly going to be used as like a soccer mom car and it's just going to stay local then for sure i would just shoot for the 4680 cells or the cheaper standard range model y just because you don't necessarily need the extra range and the extra motor sure in some people's eyes it might be worth the extra three thousand dollars but to be honest in california for example the long range model y doesn't qualify for some of the rebates the state's offering only the standard range does now this is subject to change for sure as Tesla continues to change the prices of their vehicles as if it's a stock. I know they, they change the prices a lot. It's pretty crazy. I do think though, with the new uh, tax credit put into place, the demand for these cars is likely to go up because the government's naturally giving people money to go buy electric cars and Tesla's make the best electric cars for the most part as of today for what you're paying. So the prices of these cars will likely continue to go up in the future. I would be shocked if there were more price cuts, but who really knows? The times are changing. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I really just wanted to go over these two cars from a consumer's perspective. Everybody discusses the 4680 battery cell technology from Tesla's perspective, and it's great. You know, they're saving money in terms of manufacturing. It's amazing technology, but for the consumer, it's really just less range improved charging times that's really it keep that in mind when you're going to look at a model y it's definitely very attractive but it really just depends on the person thank you for watching this video comparison between the model y's 2170 and 4680 battery cells if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comments section below don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this